lovely people welcome back to my channel i am doing another pro pour with two cups uh, this color is a van dyke brown by amsterdam naphtal red by amsterdam yeah it's a burnt sienna by liquitex basics this next color is a lizard crimson by liquitex basics then I put some metallic brown, it's a craft paint brand. This is Fabio Redescent Orange Yellow. This one is Yellow Ochre by Campus. This one is Fabio Redescent uh, Blue Red. This one is a gold, I think it's Fabio Redescent Gold, but I'm not sure about that. And then I'm going to do a more cool tone, more green cup. The first color is uh, Ftelo Green by Liquitex. The next one is uh, Iridescent Green Blue by Pabio. Iridescent Green Yellow by Pabio. Then I used Sap Green by Lucas Creel. And I decided to put some uh, gold, like uh, the same goes as the other cup, and some yellow ochre again. Then I put my tempera pearl green. Uh, it's a tempera, I don't remember the brand either. And I topped it off with a uh, Pebio iridescent blue black. Then I took some of the pearl paints that I made with chalk paints and uh, some uh, apple barrel paint. So this is a custom made brown. This one is a custom made uh, pastel ye yellow. I think I already used this one in my previous fall colors pearl pool. This one is artist loft soft body white with some apple barrel white. And then I used the same uh, orangey, peachy color I used in my previous uh, autumn color, a pearl paint. And uh, a brilliant green, always mixed with apple barrel colors and chalk paints. This one is some custom made ochre, I think. And I'm trying to uh, make sure that I'm gonna have enough paint to tilt things off very nicely. And I like to play and put some puddles all on top of each other uh, with different colors to try and have some multicolor pearls. This is soft body black with some chalk paint as well and apple barrel paints. And I'm pouring my green cup just randomly but uh, in parallel motions and I'm gonna do the same with the reddish one between the greens so uh, I think I didn't really know what I wanted to achieve there but I, want, I wanted something fun and colorful and now I'm swirling and tilting to stretch my paints and try to get some friction in order to have as many pearls as I can. Uh, my previous fall color pearl pour didn't have that many pearls and uh, so I thinned out all of my paints this time and I got many more pearls and I was very pleased with the end result so you see I'm tilting uh, the paint back to the center and uh, put it down to watch the composition, pop some bubbles and uh, uh, waiting for the pearls to come up. And sometimes if I think I have too much paint or if the composition is not right for me, I tilt a little bit more in one direction or another to try and achieve what I've got. And you can see 
some pearls popping up. This is, I think it, this is real speed. I did not speed this one up. And then my camera cut off, I think. So uh, this is the dried results. As you can see, the colors are very vivid once they are dried. And I have many, many areas with very uh, colorful and multicolored cells that have popped up, especially here. I love the way it turned out. It looks like, sometimes it looks like many flowers. My ochre didn't really curl up that much. Neither did uh, the peachy color, but in the red, you can see some uh, multicolor pearls. And so, yeah, that's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.